Hi, in this video, I will show you several methods to work faster with the product advanced master material for props. As explained in the first tutorial, material instances with the parent improps take a long time to load. The reason why the material instances are slow to load is because Unreal Engine has to load a lot of nodes. All the features included in the material represent a huge number of nodes, so it's not possible to have lots of features in the material instances loading quickly. However, there is a very easy method for considerably improving the loading time. This consists in removing all the features that you don't need. In order to do this, you need to duplicate the material in props. You can create several copies depending on which features you want to keep and remove. The features located in the material are those that apply to the entire material, while the features located in the layer apply only to the layer. You can see all the features, everything is well organized. The feature mask weather occlusion is designed to mask the effects of weather when your material is below a building roof, such as snow, humidity, or puddles. The feature character tracks is designed to deform or replace materials where your character or vehicle is moving, such as in mud or snow. You can keep it or delete it depending on your needs, but these are really lightweight features. As you can see, these two features are linked by reroute nodes, but you can still delete them if you don't need them. In this example, let's say I only need the features RVT, landscape, and snow, so I'll remove everything else, and also keep the feature global parameters, which is quite lightweight and useful. As before, I've removed the features and their reroute nodes from mask weather occlusion and character tracks. So now there are invalid named reroute nodes. You can delete them if you want, but it's not necessary as they'll be ignored if you leave them. Once you've removed everything you want, all you have to do is reconnect the features. Then in the node material attribute layers, you can click on browse to ML props one. Duplicate this layer and name it. Then enter in this layer, you can see that there are the reroute nodes of mask weather occlusion and character tracks as I deleted them in the material. I don't need them, so you can delete them if you're in the same situation. I'm going to delete everything and only keep the humidity feature. Once finished, you can also duplicate and modify the function master textures props layer. In this example, I'm going to keep the feature material details, but delete character tracks as I deleted the feature in the material. So, be careful to keep the reroute node material and reconnect it to the function material decompression. Then you can delete the function character tracks. Make sure to select only character tracks and its nodes to avoid deleting another feature accidentally. Then confirm the deletion. Then you can save and you can return to the layer to replace the function master textures props layer one with your new function. Then save the layer. And also replace the layer in the material attribute layers of the material. Save. And now your material is finished. You can use it in a material instance. The loading time of the original material with all the features in Unreal Engine 5.4 is 17 seconds on my computer. Depending on the version of Unreal Engine you're using and the performance of your computer, the time can be faster or slower. With the material I've just created, it's now eight seconds, but it's still high because the snow is the heaviest feature. It's possible to reduce the loading time to two or three seconds by removing the heaviest features. The time has increased to 20 seconds for the original material with all the feature in Unreal Engine 5.5, which is three seconds longer than in 5.4. Note that the material is exactly the same in both versions. You have to make a choice between the number of features and the loading speed. However, you can create several materials for each situation to have the best workflow. Note that the loading time for adding a layer is different from the loading time for selecting the parent of the material instance. For this one, it's 10 seconds, but it is also influenced by the global features of the material, such as snow, puddles, or others. The other method to work faster is to use the feature save child of the material instances, which allows you to save layers, blending layers, and material details. It's a feature that few people know about, but it can save you a lot of time because you can reuse what you've already done rather than setting up every parameter from scratch. To use what you have saved, you just need to select the layers, blending layer, or material instead of the usual ones. 
I will show you an example of a faster material. I've removed the snow and kept only RVT landscape in the material. Concerning the layer, it's the same as before, only with the humidity feature. I've accelerated the start of the video, but from the moment of selection, the video is in real time. You can see that in just two seconds, the material has finished to load. Regarding the layer, it took only three seconds to load. That's all for this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe to be informed about the next tutorials.